Tell us about little title talks. How y'all doing today? Well, if you are Tristan Thompson, baby, you have figured out the cheat code to life. You just keep on running, running, and running, running. What am I talking about, y'all? Chloe and Tristan. Did you know they're my favorite couple? Y'all talk about Blue and Grok, right? Krishan and uh, Blueface. Yo, Chloe and Tristan are, is my Bobby and Whitney. It is literally train wreck crash. Then they rebuild the trains and go on tracks. Sometimes they build the tracks to collide. Other times, you know, it's just like, what is going on? What's the newest thing? Tristan and Chloe. Tristan has bought a house down the street from Chloe, literally two miles from Chloe. If you know anything about California and the wealthy iron clubs, two two miles away it's like basically you bought the townhouse next door now a lot of people can say that he did it because um he wanted to be closer to true however i do want to say he do does have a son and i'm not talking about theo he has theo and he has prince as much as everybody says that tristan is a concerned father okay fine but you bought it so you could be closer to true for whatever reason you are closer to true than the other kids now Prior to Tristan's mom passing away, I would well, I would have said you're closer to true because Chloe has access, money, and fame, and she can do more things for you than the other women. It's not that uh, that Tristan needs uh, Chloe's money, right? He got his own, but Tristan definitely wants Chloe's fame, and Chloe knows that, and she holds that over him again. Prior to the tragic passing of his mom, this seemed like to everybody that it was a situation. Of course, this is my opinion. If you guys have verifiable things, please let me know. I'd love to hear. But this is just my opinion from the outside looking in. So let's look. Let's look at this, right? Tristan loves his little brother Amari. He has a special needs brother. Tristan, even though, would give his mother money to take care of Amari. Of course, that's her son. She's going to take care of him. And Tristan loves his brother, motivates. However, Tristan likes the dynamic. Because dealing with somebody with special needs, is, it's not like the movies. It will break you. Even the strongest people need to tap out. Tristan has been focused on his... Um, basketball career i'm not saying he doesn't want to be there i'm saying that because he is the breadwinner for them he actually can't be there okay he was comfortable with that dynamic tristan now has a new job through espn okay now we'll see if it becomes permanent but we do know that he got that through rich paul that is lebron james's uh co-partner in the sports agency and that's how he got it. LeBron also has a soft spot for Tristan. We do know that when Tristan was uh, filming for Keeping Up the Kardashians and he was on the Cavaliers, LeBron banned the cameras from the locker room. Now, I think they banned the cameras from the locker room because Tristan was like, come on, Bronny, please just tell them, no, I don't know how to tell her. And he banned it, but for whatever reason, LeBron is not down with the Kardashian level of fame. They don't need the Kardashian level of fame. Okay, so where are we at with that, okay? Just look at the facts. You need someone to help you take care of your brother. Chloe has volunteered to be that caretaker, which to me, yeah, that is definitely a good heart, but it's like saying somebody adopting a child. Don't say you're down for this life. If there's a chance that if Tristan humiliates you or cheats on you or does something else again that completely messes up your psyche, that you will still stay in his brother's life. Because if that is not the case, then I would think long and hard about whether you want his brother to get attached to you. It's not like, it would be cruel even if it was just like a child that wasn't special needs, but the fact that he is special needs, you guys, this is a big deal. So you're doing this and you know, you're, you know, you're, you're censoring yourself. You're telling everybody how you're going to be there for Tristan, all this stuff. Um, Tristan buys a house down the street from you. You are now saying you are going to help watch a special needs brother, which I'm honestly has going to work because Chloe works just as much as Tristan. So are you guys just help hiring care workers or you're going to pay somebody from the family to watch them? How is that actually going to work out? Because Chloe works just as much as Tristan if not more. How is that going to work out? But anyway, let me just get to my point. I said this to say, dummy, he moved down the street so he could have all the benefits of being in your life, but none of the responsibility, Chloe. 
He has all the benefits, right? The sleepovers, the nookie, the caring. Chloe, like she said, her love is like salted caramel. And Chloe does love hard. So I'm sure she's making him meals, rubbing his feet, listening to him, you know, carrying his emotional burdens, having him sort through that stuff. Chloe likes taking on that role in the relationship. And Tristan is fine to heap it on because Tristan, before his mom died, I don't know where his mind at now, he didn't care about taking someone who was selfless. And when I say selfless, I know that Chloe was doing it for her own selfish reasons, but she was still sacrificing herself. So now cut to, you've moved down two miles from her. That is nothing in California, especially in those wealthy enclaves. So now you think, Chloe thinks that this is one step closer to marriage. And I agree, if Chloe plays ball, they will be married because he does need a caretaker for his brother. Even if they hire a caretaker, he still needs Chloe to supervise all that, right? I also do believe that if Chloe even fusses one time, he will find somebody else to be Mrs. Thompson. All right, say what you want about Canadian thuggest, ruggest, the, the thuggiest, ruggiest valley girl out there, Tristan Thompson. Say what you want. He will 100% find another dum-dum to, uh, to literally procreate with them and also be a caretaker. And again, Tristan attracts women that are selfless. So where does it leave Chloe? You now think that you and Tristan have something real and something bonded because he moved down the street from you, okay? You now think that he's like, oh my God, he loves True, she's his favorite, and we got the little boy, and this is just going to be our son, and I don't care. But at the end of the day, regardless of what Chloe is feeling good about, again, this is not good for her. Tristan has positioned himself where he can use you indefinitely. You literally will be the last slice of pizza over and over and over. And this is something that's celebrated. And for all y'all being like, oh my God, they're just friends. Can I just say something? And let's be real. How can anyone be friends, man or woman? How can anybody be friends with someone that lied to them, broke their heart, manipulated them, humiliated them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times, led you astray, sold you wolf tickets, gave you pipe dreams, embarrassed you, showed no remorse, broke you down so that you literally went and got a brain scan to see what was going on with you and to free you from these shackles. And y'all sitting there applauding, saying, we're really good friends. It didn't work out in a relationship, but as co-parents, we're a-okay. You mean someone that lies to you of everything when you take sex out the equation, they turn into a good person? Or are they still selfish? Are they still manipulative? Are they still conniving? Again, what happened with Tristan might have changed who he was as a person and maybe he finally grew up. But would you even rush to be there for that person that almost had you at the lowest point? You were wondering what was the point at all? almost had you got a brain scan to see what was wrong with you is rushing in to save the person that did that to you does that sound like it again i'm sick of people acting like romantic relationships and friendships are different no 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 no. the way somebody will treat someone the only difference is there's sex involved but this way someone is grimy to their girlfriend, they'll be grimy to their friends, y'all just don't know it. Somebody's grimy to their boyfriend, they'll be grimy to you. You just don't know it yet. They haven't had an opportunity to put themselves in front of something. If it's you, them, and something they want, they'll be grimy to you too. So the fact that everybody is sitting there being like, oh my God, they're just friends. They're not friends. Tristan's never treated her like a friend. He's never treated her with respect. Tristan's treated her like he's someone he has contempt for. Chloe has treated Tristan the way she was. Listen, this is all I'm saying. Tristan is living down the street. He has cracked the cheat code. He got Chloe playing wife, and he don't even have to be in the same unit as her. But you know what this does remind me of? Chloe took a book. Chloe took a book, and Chloe took a page out of Kylie Jenner's book. Because isn't this what happened with Travis and Kylie? They were living apart for so long, but they were in, out, in, out, and being so, so private. So nobody really knew if Ky Travis was there, if they were on, if they were off. Yeah. Chloe took a page out of Ky uh, uh, Kylie's book as to how to have a relationship with someone that just, you're just not their one. And just like Kylie, we saw what happened with that. 
we saw what happened with that y'all let me know what you think in the comments congratulations on i'm gonna say it early congratulations to chloe and tristan on their engagement girl better you than me better you than me anyway y'all let me know what you think in the comments and i will talk to y'all later bye